gotta know what you wanna do. You gotta dedicate yourself to it. You gotta wake up thinking about it. Go to work thinking about it. Go to bed thinking about it. You gotta dream about it. All right, a little hustle standard intro inspired by Kyle Voss over at the Fab Forums. Working on this very large, very first sign on the new table. It's a 10 foot wide sign going on the end of a cabin here. And I made it out of some thin aluminum. It's 11 gauge aluminum and then made a one inch square tubing frame. So uh, just showing you here, getting set up to cut the job out on the true cut table. And this is Vec Vectric Cut 2D uh, CAD and cam square. And I use a few different packages and that's one of the ones I use and have kind of leaned toward that now, but still use other stuff as well. You can see it's kind of flimsy there coming off the table uh, without any support. So just use some one inch by one inch square tubing, did a little bending, made a few pie cuts, shaped it around, and then uh, TIG welded it to the back of the sign. And that, uh, you know, just some little one inch stitch welds all the way around and that added a lot of uh, structure to it. So I didn't show it on camera, but I put three coats of high gloss automotive clear on it and uh, did a lot of heavy grinding. I tried to do the grinding patterns, you know, different for the different scenes to make everything stand out separately. You got washers or? And uh, didn't know exactly where the tubing was gonna hit behind the frame, so I waited and manually drilled the holes. And then here's a shot of Barry Bancroft is a, a local, I'm gonna call him entrepreneur. He's got a couple of different businesses. He runs a barbecue uh, restaurant. And so I've been partnering with him on this. He actually built the cabins. Uh, he, he runs a little portable building place where he, he makes and distributes the buildings, but does a lot of customizations as well. So you'll see here in a little bit, we're getting the sign installed and then we'll show you some of the inside of the cabins and, and the finish out that he did. Just, he did great work on it. And I was just happy to be able to have a chance to put this on here. But we thought a, a bare aluminum sign with, with clear coat on it to keep it from oxidizing would really stand out against the dark brown uh, siding of these of the cabins. But here's a look of the inside. They turned out really nice. This was their opening weekend dove hunt. They had uh, Peter built there. Um, you know, these are like corporate sponsored hunting trips, you know, for sales teams where they big companies bring their customers in. And um, I think they can sleep up to about 50 people there now across the several cabins. And that was a wild boar just kind of sunning over there on the other side of the little pond. And got a little, little shot of that. But here's some of the cabins that he built. I think each one sleeps 32 with the bunks and all. Love, love, love. So just a quick little video showing you a recent project I did. Really happy with the true cut machine on, on the big, you know, 10 foot piece. Worked out well. See you guys.